What's up, everybody? In this video, uh, we're going to talk about the OnePlus Nord N10 5G. It is probably the best phone that came out of 2021. And is it still a good phone in 2022? And the short answer is definitely yes. The OnePlus Nord N10 5G is still one of the best 5G phones for budget minded people, and it doesn't um, have any drawbacks for the most part. Um, let's go ahead and get into the specs and see how this phone is, is still being hailed as probably the best phone when it comes to budget devices with 5G. So this phone was uh, released in October of 2020. So this is more than a year old. Um, the weight is 6.7 ounces. Build materials are still going to be pretty much all plastic uh, with the glass front, plastic back, plastic frame. Um, the display is a healthy 6.5 inches. That's a standard for Android phones, but the refresh rate is still awesome. 90 Hertz. You don't get that on a lot of phones these days for a price point of $0. Um, so it's very smooth, buttery smooth. And that price point, you can get this phone for free. Um, when you go to Metro, uh, by T-Mobile, that's pretty much the only prepaid carrier that uh, offers this phone and I only suggest getting this phone if you port your number to get this phone free um, if not you're gonna have to find this phone two to three hundred dollars brand new on OnePlus and eBay and Amazon um, and you get it unlocked as well but I think uh, if you could withstand uh, being a couple of months on Metro then you can get this phone unlocked and it'd be very worth it um, this not phone is not available on Boost it's not available on Cricket uh, or anywhere else really so metro is the only place to get it so you can get it for free when you port in your number or for less than 300 dollars if you get it somewhere else but regardless you know forget about the price this phone is still delivering a lot 90 hertz refresh rate um the resolution is 1080p so it's a pretty good screen 406 ppi density it's running Android 10. It's a little, you know, it's two Android versions behind, but it doesn't really matter because you're gonna run all your favorite apps on there. It's a clean version of Android, close to stock, Oxygen OS 10.5. Look, this phone is gonna run you all your major apps. Um, all, you know, you're gonna run them perfectly fine. There's no real difference between Android 10, Android 11. When it gets to Android 12 in the Pixel devices, it's just you know it's just the settings um that's kind of look different but everything else is going to feel the same uh most important thing is that's going to run all your popular apps and it's a clean version of android so you're not going to get a lot of bloated crap that you're going to find on other devices such as samsung chipset um you're getting a snapdragon processor mid-range which is going to be good for 99 percent of people so it's going to be pretty good um, micro SD card slot, uh, not a lot of phones offer that. So that's a big plus right there. You can expand the 128 gigs of internal storage. So most people won't even need the micro SD card slot because 128 gigs is a lot. Six gigs of RAM is more than enough for everyday people and everyday apps. As long as you're not a power hungry, want to switch between 20, 30 different apps in the background, this is going to be really, really good. It's a good amount of RAM. Camera wise, four cameras, 64 megapixel main camera, eight megapixel ultra wide, two megapixel depth, two megapixel macro. Now this uh, camera is gonna be really, really great in the daytime, but and at night it's gonna kind of suffer. But that ultra wide at 119 degrees field of view is very, very good. Um, that's probably the most important um, camera apart from the main sensor is the ultra wide, the depth and the macro, um, I really don't use them that much. And you can shoot in 4K, so that makes this phone a 4K capable phone, which is awesome. Selfie camera, 60 megapixels at 1080p video. You got a headphone jack, that's a big plus. Bluetooth 5.1. So this phone is gonna be just like your flagship. You connect your headphones, your smart watch, speakers, and all that stuff. You got NFC for payment, so that's pretty good. Uh, charging at USB type C. Uh, rear mounted fingerprint reader which is great because the ones in the front embedded in the display are kind of finicky i prefer a physical fingerprint reader and it still gives you pretty much all screen display except for that little pinhole camera in the front in the upper left hand corner now battery wise you got a pretty good battery 4300 it's not the best but it'll get you all day battery life but it also has 30 watt fast charging so if you manage to need um, battery um, and you're going low which is rare um, you could pop it on with that 30 watt charger which it's included in the box which is good and it'll get you up and running in no time 
so yeah the nord n10 5g is like just it's probably the best phone in 2021 even if you compare it to flagships it has great storage it has a good amount of ram has a clean version of android it has a 90 hertz refresh rate it has a really good price um it charges really quick there's a lot to like about this phone and there's not a lot of phones out there that really compares it when you when you compare it to the price i mean if you're comparing it to an iphone you're obviously not going to get the ios only apps and the ecosystem but this phone is going to give you when it comes to apps and your day-to-day -day activities it's definitely going to be good um, the only other phones I could think of that really can compare to this is a Motorola phone, which has close to stock Android, and it gives you the value with the price. Um, some Samsungs out there um, are going to have really great cameras, but none of these have what I think really stands out with this phone is the 90 hertz refresh rate. Um, at, when you get it free from Metro, it really blows these other phones out of the water. Plus, it has that fast watt charging at 30 watts. So that's something that really stands out to this phone. Um, you know, I don't really care that this one's not going to get upgraded to the newest version of Android. Um, if you manage to get this one for free, it's definitely still a good buy in 2022. And you can find it even on used uh, markets, third party like web, like uh, eBay or on uh, Swappa. And you can find them unlocked so you can get some if you don't want to run it on Metro um, and you don't want to wait those six months. Definitely try it out on those third party uh, websites. You can get it for less than that $300 price point. And this phone, I mean, it does everything that you need it to do um, right out of the box. So, yeah, this is still a good phone. Uh, this is the Nord N10 5G, probably the best budget phone in 2021. And even it competes really good even in 2022. I'll see you in the next one.